This week we're gonna be focusing more on pole dancing rather than surfing because the waves where I'm at are pretty big, but it was like four to maybe five feet and I'm still learning and I'm still trying to get stronger at swimming so I don't trust myself outside like that. Today's video is gonna be about pole and I actually have a class tonight. I figured, you know what? I have some extra time on my hands. It's been a long time since I've done my own nails. So that's what we're gonna do today. Also, look at my room, my new setup, right? I finally cleaned it up a little bit. For the longest time, there were no paintings, artwork, nothing hung up on the walls over here. So it was just super blank. And over here is where I used to store my nail kits, which I'll show you in a second. Um, my nail kits, my eyebrow kits, my hair products, everything. But I just wanted to kind of clean it up so that this whole wall is a little bit seamless. And I'm just really happy. Like I'll seriously be sitting on my couch right here. Those are donation things. But I'd seriously be sitting on my couch and just staring at this. Like it's just, it's so nice. And over here in this corner, you got my window, but also my beautiful Montserra. My mom and I actually got this at the farmer's market for $25 and it grew so much that this is only half of it because we already repotted it into something else. So this is Monty. I'm really big on like DIY things. Let me just set you down here. I'm really big on DIY things because pampering and all those things can get so expensive right i love getting my nails done getting facials from time to time even getting my eyelash extensions i only tried getting that once actually and it was not really that good of an experience but all of those things can cost over a hundred dollars and i don't get them often enough because it really is a treat yourself thing but over here in this cabinet which i'm still trying to organize i'll show you what i have all right in this little box this is where I have all of my eyelash extension kits, right? Everything I got off of Amazon, I've been practicing. One time it took me six hours to try and do eyelash extensions. And that was the first day I tried learning. It was really like trying to figure out how to isolate each eyelash and how to um, stick it on correctly, what lash glue you should be using, which if you are not a professional lash artist, you should not be using professional lash glue because you could actually hurt yourself temporarily blind yourself, all the negative things. So just don't do it, right? The glue that I use is this Ardell Lash Adhesive. This one right here, Lash Light, I think, Lash Tight. This one right here, it's the Ardell Lash Tight Dark Adhesive. And I also have the different like Vava Lash. Um, I can make a completely different video of me trying to do this again. But when I have a special occasion coming up, I do like to pamper myself a little bit. The next thing that I have here in my pampering routine are all of these curlers, right? So I actually have a hot brush. It's a blow dryer and a brush combined. And then afterwards I wrap it up in one of these to kind of give myself a blowout kind of look. It's been successful for the most part, but still needs a lot of practice. And the last thing that I have in this cabinet is my nail stuff. Now I follow Michelle Khan, I think that's how you say her name, on TikTok and she basically does DIY nails and makes it look so freaking gorgeous. I bought some of the products that she recommended and one of them, actually I think I just got this randomly off of Amazon. This is the Beatles gel polish and they come in really, they come in a lot of different colors, let me show you. So like, you know, you got your red, yellow, purples, red, yellow, purples, white, black, all these different ones. And then I am practicing designs a little bit with the longer, thinner gel beetles, gel art polish. I have it in both black and white. Today, I'm actually gonna try doing some French tips. So we'll see how that goes. And then in this box is all the other nail care things. So we have some cuticle removers, a little brush, um, all the little tools that I need to kind of like clean up my cuticles, some more cuticle cleansing things, um, the foil packets with the cottons on them so that it makes removing nails a lot easier. I got it all. There's a little, I like to call this my pampering corner, my pampering section. And today is one of those days where I just want to do a little pampering because it's been such a long time. And then after that, we're going to be going to our pole class. I didn't get to surf today because the waves are insanely huge and I'm not that strong of a swimmer yet. So if there's no baby waves right now, 
I'm not gonna go out there. But let's do some nails and then let's go to our pole class. <laughs> finally just finished doing my nails. It took me, I don't even know, maybe like an hour. I'm going to show you from, from over here because it's, they've got a lot of, um, <laughs> there's a lot of errors in the nails, but here's what it looks like from afar. Okay, so now we're going to get ready for our dance class. I'm going to eat a little bit, get changed, and then we're going to head on over. I just parked from my class and today it's not actually a dance class. It's a tricks class and tricks classes are when you basically learn the basic techniques of climbing the pole, of getting your body familiar with the pole, building the strength to learn how to flip upside down, which is what's called an inversion or inverting. And I have not been able to invert in a while. Then again, I've just like fell out of practice. So I always have to like rework to get it. But I feel like both the strength that I'm gaining from going here often and going surfing often of like pushing up on the board is getting me that upper body strength needed to just kind of like toss my body over. So I'll share little clips here and there of the journey, but I'm really excited for this class. It's been about a week since the last time I've gone. Just got out of the tricks class. It was so much fun. I got to practice a lot on the climbing and something called the carousel spin, which spins are always the one that get me. I always feel like I'm not going around the pole <laughs> as much as I should. I pretty much kind of like slide down. So that is upper body strength that I need to work on. But overall, it was so much fun. I'm gonna go back home, eat some dinner and enjoy the rest of my night. So it's like the sun is glaring straight into my face right now but thanks so much for watching let me know what else you want to see hopefully by next week the surf's going to be a lot better for me to learn and i'll keep you updated on that hobby as well thanks for watching everyone bye